whenever you're using Elementor with WordPress, you can not only create pages, but you can also create posts with Elementor and with the free version, which is what we're going to be using here. Now, not only can we create posts, we can also create post templates, although they will be named page templates, but we'll go ahead and do that here in WordPress. So we'll go through everything. We'll go to posts here. And we'll go ahead and click add new and we'll create a new post. Now, in my case, this post is going to be published later on. If you're going to publish right now, of course, you can leave this, uh, however, uh, whatever date it's already on, but we're going to actually change this here. So there we go. Now let's go ahead and add our title and I already have all that stuff. So in my case, I'll just paste it in here. I already have that then come through and check off whatever categories that you need to check off for our post here before we head into Elementor to actually make our post. And of course, I'm going to add a featured image you may or may not. Now this featured image won't be included with our template. All right, so don't worry about that. So there's our featured image. Go ahead and give it my tags. Okay, very good. So now we're ready to head into Elementor to actually uh, create this post. So we'll hit edit with Elementor. And this is what you're presented with. So let's go ahead and create our post. And because I have other posts that are going to be similar to this, I'm going to create the post and save it as a template so we can reuse it. But first, of course, we have to create it. So let's just start here. The first thing we need to do in my case, of course, this is all you know, however you want to do it, but I want to put a heading on here and we'll go ahead and paste that in. In my case, I'm going to come over here to style. I'm going to change that to black. Good. I can also change this however I want. I think that looks uh, pretty good there. All right. So there's our title. Now, what do we want next? Let's go ahead and add another, another uh, piece here. All right. So what do I want here? Well, probably text or maybe a picture. If you want an image, just grab your image drop it in there. But in my case, I'm going to need text. Now, keep in mind, you don't have to actually be building a real post. You could just head in here and make a dummy post and then save that. Just come over here and do save as template. But I'm going to actually create a real post here. Let's get that out of the way. Now, again, I already have all of my text written out. Just going to copy everything here. Control A, select everything over here. Control V, paste everything in. Now, head up here to style. I want this to be black. Very good. Of course, change anything else that you want to change. Very good. One thing that's kind of cool is having this fade in, sort of fade in. So it fades in whenever your viewer scrolls down the page. But in my case, I want that text. Uh, I actually don't want that uh, at all. So I'll just remove that. Okay. So there's that. Now let me go over my text and read it real quick. Make sure it's correct. All right. So I need to add a link. Just grabbing that link from off screen. I'm going to go ahead and insert this link here, paste it in, hit over here, open link in new tab. Very good. Okay, just reading over my text to make sure everything's correct. Since this is going to be a real post, everything looks fine to me here. Now you may have a much longer post uh, than this here. But uh, of course, this is similar, you just keep adding new sections, however you want. So right here, I think what I want, we'll put that full size structure in there, hit over here. Now what I want is a bit of a spacer. Don't want it too much. Then I'm going to add another one. And this one, because I have some AdSense code I want to put in there, just go to uh, HTML, grab that, throw that in here, head over and grab my HTML. And I'll just paste it in here. Very good. So there is our ad. And this is going to be part of our template. So we don't have to keep you know, redoing all of this. And after that, I want in this case, I think I want this double structure here. And let me go ahead and have a text editor right there. And then I want an image on this side. Now you could do something like an image slider. If you have uh, an image carousel or something, if you have multiple images, uh, you want to show and it's pretty cool to do it uh, do it like this. I'll do image carousel, although I think I only need one image. But just as an example, change this here, make that one, add my images. So we're doing riot drums. So this one and this one create the gallery. Very good. Insert gallery. And then of course you can customize your dots and your arrows. But in this case, I don't even need the slider for this template because I'm just going to be using single images. So I'll just right click, delete. Just keep in mind, you can always add whatever you want. So 
I'm going to do an image right here. And all I need is this image right there. All right, there it is. Very good. Click on it. Let's see. I want this to link to the media file. So that way, whenever I click on it, it comes up in the viewer can look at that. So now for my text, I basically want it to say this here. So I'll just copy it and control A, control V. Then I'll change this to a heading and make it bold. Just control A. There we go. So Riot Drums features the sounds of 90s hardcore albums. Very good. Now I'm having a problem here. This is a little too close for me. So I'm going to hit plus here, plus full size structure there, and just do a spacer. You could do a divider if you wanted to. We're just going to put a bit of a space in between that, you know, between our ad and then our content. I don't like to have things uh, too close there. All right, so we're about done here. Now what do I need? Well, I want another full size. And again, I think I want a space, or you could do a divider. A divider will be an actual line instead of just space. I want space right there. Very good. Again, more. Now, in this case, I want one video. If you wanted two videos, you might want to choose a double structure. But in my case, I want a video right there. So I'll grab my YouTube video, throw it right there. Then I'll go ahead and grab my URL. Now, this video isn't published yet. So you're not going to actually see the, the image there. If I grab a video that actually is published and I paste that in, then of course you're going to see that. Okay. But in this case, my video won't publish until the day this posts, uh, this post publishes, but you don't have to fill this out again. You could just uh, leave the, leave the uh, dummy URL in there if you want, but that's what I need because this again will be a real post, All right? So it's looking good for what I want. Now, again, I want a little space here at the bottom. I want to space it, pull that down and another full size. And this time I want uh, text. So now I want to say, check out Riot Drums here. Then I'm going to grab the link for this. Then just paste it in there. Make sure that opens in the new tab. And there we go. So that's our post pretty much. Again, you could add more text if you want down here, add whatever you want in uh, for your post that you're going to be reusing over and over and over. But that's all I need for this. Just a nice short post and a template, which we're going to save it as a template so we can uh, reuse it. Always preview our changes here. Take a look at it. And we're not seeing the ad in this preview. No problem. That sometimes happens. It sometimes, sometimes shows, sometimes doesn't. That's just how AdSense works but we have it saved. All right, everything looks good to me. Now, again, if you have more ads, you have Amazon links or something, you might want to add another section, uh, add HTML, and then you know paste that in there as well. So that way you don't have to continually paste in uh, your ads in every single post. But this here looks good to me. All right, so instead of hitting publish, let's use this up arrow here and we'll do save as template. Now, it's going to call this a page, save your page to a library, because we have the free version of Elementor. Now, the paid version does have a post section, but you can actually save your posts. Uh, you know, it's going to be called a page, but you can save your post and reuse your post templates uh, just like you do pages. So this is just going to be called uh, drums. I'm going to call it post. Save it. And that's literally all there is to it. I make sure to name everything post. That's a post. You know, things that are that are uh, pages. I name page. OK, so that's right here. Drums post. Very good. X out of that. Now all we have to do is hit publish. Now in our case, it's not actually going to publish because we have it uh, delayed. You know, it's, it's uh, scheduled. Get up here, exit to dashboard. Very good. And I'm going to schedule it. Very good. So that's all there is to it. Now we've created our template. Let's go ahead and make a new post. So in this case, I'll just say new because I have more posts to make that are uh, very similar to this. So in this case, we're going to start uh, the same way. Go ahead and just paste in my title that I already have. Make sure I change this in my case. Uh, if you're not delaying your post, of course, just leave that to whatever it's on. Check off whatever I need here in my categories. Add my tags. Very good. I like to set a featured image just because of how my theme works. Grab that one. Okay, there we go. So we've done everything we need to do over here in WordPress. 
Let's go ahead and edit with Elementor. And this time it's going to go much, much faster because we already have that template made for us. Okay, so in order to use our post template, just click the folder icon there, go over to my templates. That was called drums post right there. You can see it's called a page, but this is a post. By the way, you can also save different sections if you want. I'm not going to show it here, but you can save different sections and just add certain sections to uh, to each post. But I want the drums post. Go ahead and insert that. There we go. So there's our entire post. I just have to change some content. By the way, I will show you real quick here. If you want to save just a section, say this section here, you could always right click here and do save as template. And that will save just that little section uh, as a template. And then you can, of course, um, add a new section. If you were to hit the plus sign, add a new section, go to your folder and then uh, choose that little section. All right. But all I need to do now is change a few things. So just paste that in. There we go. Got the new title. Click in here. Control A, Control V. Very good. I want to make sure I add a link here. Right there. Put my link in there. I want to open it in a new tab. Very good. Awesome. Don't need to re-add my, my AdSense ad because it's already there. Don't need to re-add this section. I just need to change a couple of things. Okay, so let me grab this here. This is the Colt drums. And then type in whatever I need to type in or paste it in. Okay, now I want to make sure I change this here to a heading. Very good. And I'll choose the pencil icon here. Come over here to the uh, uh, image and just swap that out for the correct one for this drum kit. There we go. Quick, easy, painless. Don't have to create a bunch of things. Click the pencil icon here. Again, head over and grab the correct link again this one hasn't published yet so you're not actually going to see the image until it publishes but we changed the link i actually want to turn that on there okay so there's our post pretty much done just needed to change this right here and in my case i'm just going to actually just get rid of everything and type it out again very good now i need to go and grab my link come back over here let's hit Control a link icon Control. V, paste that in. There we go. So now we have created another post from our post template. And it took just really a matter of a minute or so to make a brand new post. Just that quick and easy whenever you're using templates uh, here in Elementor. Of course, you can always change things up, individual things up uh, within, each, uh, within each post you're making here. But in this case, everything is already laid out perfectly for what I uh, for what I need. Awesome. So click publish. Very good. So that's really all there is to it to use Elementor to create new posts here in WordPress and not just creating posts, but saving them as a template so they can quickly be reused, even with the free version of Elementor.